just want to talk about um, what ground baits to use on the canals when you're targeting these small fish. You want to st stay clear of any pellet mixes or method mixes. Um, a lot of the time you go into the tackle shops and you'll be faced with hundreds of different types and it's a bit confusi confusing. But if you just try and avoid anything that's got any pellets in or method mix, crushed expander, anything like that, you don't want that when you're fishing for these small fish. You want canal ground bait, lake, roach, any, anything like that. If you're unsure, just ask the tackle shop dealer and tell him where you're going and just say you want a non-fish meal mix for canals. They'll sort you some different ground bait that you need, the right stuff. Right, what we're going to do when we've selected which ground bait we're going to use, we need to mix it up, mix, mix some water with it to mix it up. Um, and what I normally do, today we're going to use two parts lake. So I'll just measure them out like that, just so we know for the future. So we've got one. Two pints of lake there. And what we're going to do, we're going to mix canal with it. If it was, if it was going to mix a canal on its own, it would be a bit, it wouldn't bind so much. So we just mix the lake with it. So there we go. So we mix all the dry ingredients together. And what we do, we mix them, just mix them all together. So it's all blended into one first. Right, so obviously if you were trying to, if you just try to chuck that in now, because it's dry, it wouldn't, you need to wet it so it goes down to the bottom of the canal. And rather than pour a load of water in one go, which, you know, there's a risk of um, spoiling it, we just put a bit, bit in it at a time. So we just pour a bit in there. You can always take it, put more in, but you can't take it out. So we just get your hands in. Don't worry if you've not got drills to mix it. Small amounts like this, I'll just mix it with my hands anyway, like so. Just make sure and it's important to use a round use a round bucket like this and then it gives you plenty of space to get all all the mix with the water in so obviously still it's still too see it's not forming a ball or anything so it's still too dry but we're just putting a bit bit, bit in at a time a bit more there So it's all, all consistent now, it's all, you know, water's going through all of it. If you had a small, you know, if we were trying to mix it in that, we wouldn't have, wouldn't have enough room to, to get all the water to it and you'd end up with some parts of it dry and some parts of it damp. So it's just starting to squeeze and hold together. It's still a bit dry though, because you, you want it the consistency where you can squeeze a ball without messing about with it. So, a bit more water, but now is a critical time. If we put loads more in now, you could spoil the mix. So it's just starting to take now. And incidentally, you're probably best off doing this before you come down to the canal, before you come down to your session. Like I normally get up a bit earlier in the morning and mix it before I leave. And that's just one less thing to do on the bank. And sometimes you might get to the bank and it's pouring down with rain. So the last thing you want to be doing is doing all this sort of thing when it's hammering down with rain. And it just gives you a bit more time to get all your equipment ready so and if you spoil it if you do spoil it at least you can um mix, start it all again and so you haven't ruined it on the bank and you've got no spare ground bait so we just need a bit more water like that and it's just really sort of get you know it's like making a cake i suppose not that i've ever made any cakes but i've had a few but um just get it all, all the mixture, all, all nice and damp there. And what it'll do, what ground bait tends to do, after about a quarter of an hour, it'll dry out a little bit. So you need to add a bit more water. Rather than, so rather than use it straight away, just give it a bit of time to settle, just to see if you need any more water put into it. So what we'll do, we'll put this aside and we'll come back to it in a quarter of an hour, just to see if it needs any more water put into it. Right, we've come to the ground bait 15 minutes later, and it has, like we thought, it has dried out a little bit. So we just need to put in a tiny bit more water. So I'm just gonna just put in a bit of water there. I'm not putting pouring in loads. But now it's got to the consistency where you can squeeze a ball like that without, you know, it's not breaking up and it'll go travel to the bottom where the, where the, the fish are 
and it will create us a nice little target area to fish over. If it, if it was too dry and we couldn't squeeze it, you know you need some more water. So, and a good tip as well is just to push it through a sieve. If you've got a sieve, is just to take any, any of the bigger lumps out, which feeds the, the smaller fish up. So all we do, is get it all out of the bucket there. Put the sieve on top. And just uh, riddle it through. And this just takes any lumps out, put some, you know, put some air into it and everything. So any lumps that are on top, we just push through like that. Really important, you know, this and getting the depth right, plumbing up, is the most important thing. You know, if you can get just these little basic things, the right ground bait, get it mixed correctly, plumb your depth correctly, not fish too far out, it'll really give you a head start and you'll be on the right lines for when you come, come for your session. So now we just push those through there. So now we've got a nice fine ground bait there and we can just squeeze a ball, nice ball like that, and it'll travel to the bottom without breaking up and perfect for your canal fishing.